Good evening everybody, how are we this evening? Hope you're all well and looking forward to doing some Pilates with me, Kerry. So shall we get started? Grab yourselves a mat and a drink of water if you need it, close the door and just give yourselves this time to completely concentrate on you and what you're doing. So grab yourselves all your bits and bobs and then we will get nicely warmed up. Just a quick warm up, just to make sure that we are ready for the rest of the class. So just standing with your feet hip distance apart, do nothing else, and just stand. Relax the shoulders, zip up the pelvic floor, so completely centering yourself here. So navel to spine connection, draw up the pelvic floor, front and back. Remember, throughout Pilates, we mainly stay neutral. So that means our head, shoulders, pelvis are nice and stable. So this is neutral, it's your normal, natural line. So this is not neutral, and neither is this. So just try and stand in your normal, natural position. Feet flat on the floor. Take a lovely big breath in through the nose, and then slowly breathe out through the mouth. And again, deep breath in through the nose. Slowly exhale out through the mouth. Let's do one more. Deep breath in, nice big breath, and then slowly exhale. Now roll the shoulders round. Keep your tummy muscles switched on. Keep your head lovely and still. Just warming up through the shoulders. One more, now drop the shoulders down and float the arm out, side stretch. Wake up the muscles of the waist. So don't just go over to the side, concentrate and really think about where you're placing your body. So forget about the arms, think about these muscles controlling what you're doing here. Imagine there's a pane of glass in front of you and a pane of glass behind you, so it's completely lateral. No forward or back movements. Good, and again. Lovely, last two. One more time. Excellent, well done. Now, I'm just going to ask you to take both arms up to the ceiling, and then I just want you to bring them back down. Breathe in. Now breathe out, but connect your tummy deeper. Breathe in and breathe out. So get some control. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Deep breath in and breathe out. Let's take the hands together here. You're going to hinge forward, bend the knees, and then pull your arms back like a breaststroke and stand up again. Keep using your tummy muscles to control the movement. Let's get some big arm movements here. Breathe in, breathe out, and again. Keep moving, remember we're warming up, so we want those big movements, working through the big muscles in the legs. Connect your pelvic floor. Good, two more, breathe in. Stretch out, one more time. Good, now float the arms up, stretch high, reach up, reach over to the side, come back to centre, other side, lovely, well done. Now, I'd like you to bring your heels together here, bring your shoulders back, straighten up through the body, we're going to come up onto the balls of the feet, then down, get the heels together and bend, and one, and two. Now, all the time you're doing this, Lovely and controlled. Remember where the emphasis is. It's in your tummy. Imagine you have a big, thick leather belt around your waist. So you're not leaning forward. You're not leaning back. Keep going. So heels come to touch each time. Try and go a little bit lower. Bend, lift, squeeze, up. Heels, bend, heels, up, heels, bend, squeeze, up, use your tummy, lovely, now let's just do two more, so we should be getting nicely warmed up, one more time, good, well done, hold it up this time, stretch, bring the heels down, reach over to the side, stretch the arm across, other side, keep reaching up, keep reaching up, Keep stretching. 
Lovely. One more time. Keep those heels squeezed together. One more time to the other side. Super. Lovely. And again. Release the arms. Float them down. Pop the feet flat to the floor. You're going to take a big breath in. Connect your tummy and then slowly bring the head down and just allow the movement to develop in the spine. Use the weight of the head. Draw your navel back to your spine and just float yourself down towards the floor. Take a deep breath in at the bottom, connect your tummy and build on the abdominals, bone after bone. Float your arms up to the ceiling. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in, connect. Now, head comes down first. Think about the chain reaction, bone after bone, don't rush. Don't need to rush anything, keep it controlled. Now, when you get there this time, walk your hands forward. We'll come us into our first plank position. Hands under the shoulders, lovely straight line through your body. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Stay there. I'd like you just to lift one leg. Lift, point, flex, now lower. So the idea is for you to keep your body lovely and still. Two more. If you want to, just do it with your knees on the floor. Just lift, point, flex, and lower. Lift, point, flex, and lower. Hold it there. Now we're going to push back up. Stretch, push the heels towards the floor. Walk through the feet. Press your bottom up to the ceiling. Your head is between your biceps. Press through the legs. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now push both heels down towards the floor. Stay there. Hold it there. Now I want you to unroll like a wave. So I want you to bring the body forward. Straightening up slowly into that plank again. Now lift, point, flex, and lower. Lift, point, flex. Remember your options. You can keep your knees on the floor if you want to. One more time. Breathe. Push. Push up. Stretch. Stay there. Heels towards the floor. Straight legs. Now walk. Pressing your heels in towards the floor and four, three, two, one. Hold it down. Press your bottom up. Now we come back into that lovely plank slowly, bone by bone. Stretch, hold and breathe. Stay strong, hold it there. I'd like you to bring your right knee in towards your chest and then push up. Straighten up, stretch, pop the leg down, come forward, rolling through the back like a ripple, bring your left knee in, now push up, be strong, straighten the leg completely, now pop the leg down, bring your body forward, do that again, right leg in, push up, stretch, we should be getting nice and warm now. Pop the leg down, come forward, hold it, left knee in, push up slowly, stretch up, hold and breathe, pop the leg down. Now for the last time for now, bring yourself into a lovely long plank, hold it there, breathe, now just drop to the knees and release, excellent, well done. Come round to face forward, take your arms out to the side. Take one leg out to the side. Keep the pelvis lovely and still. So remember, big belt around this waist. Leg is straight, arms out to the side. Just stretch over to the side and back. And again, breathe in through your nose and out through the mouth. Keep the pelvic floor switched on. Breathe in and stretch. Breathe out, again. Breathe in, stretch. Four more here. Now think about keeping your body lovely and still. 
Remember, it's your abdominals that are maintaining the stability in your body. Deep breath. One more time. Good, now hold it over. Hold it over, take it up to the ceiling. Open up the chest, we're going to lift this leg. So you're just lifting and lowering. So get comfortable, get confident. Engage the muscles of the waist. And lift and lower. Good, keep going, nice straight leg. Breathe, again, breathe. Everything facing forward. Good, now we're gonna lift and curl. So you lift, curl the leg back. And again, so once you're curling, try and keep your knee in the same line as the hip. Rest if you need to. And again, so this is quite challenging, the position you're in. So if you do need to, I'd like you to do four more like this. If you do need to change position, you can go into a box position and do it like this for your last three. Lift, curl, away, last two. Lift, curl, away. One more time, lift, curl, well done. Now take the arm over the head and lift, breathe. Good, so full body workout today. Really concentrating on your mind and body connection. So as you move, you try to visualize how your body is reacting to the movement. So think about that lovely line through the leg. Good, and again, squeeze that leg up. Excellent, last one, last one. Hold the leg up, straighten, breathe. Now lovely straight line here. Stretch the arm up and over. Super, well done, come back up. Let's change sides. Nice straight line, everything facing forward. Make sure you're nice and free in your joints. Take it over. Reach. Good. And again. So we just start off nice and easy and just concentrate on the breath. In and the breath out. Lovely. And again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep the pelvic floor connected here. So try to concentrate always as much as you can during the class. You try to maintain that connection in your tummy for most of the class, if you can. Just hold it lightly. Remember, it's the pelvic floor front and back, and then draw navel to spine. Stretch the arm up, lift just the leg, up and down, and again. Remember, if you get tired, just come into a box position. This is one of those exercises and positions that you get used to after a while. But when you first start doing it, it can be quite challenging. So just come into a box position if you need to. Now we're going to lift. Lift and curl away and down. Good, and again, think about what the leg is doing. Lift, curl using your hamstring and down. Your abdominals are stabilizing the rest of the body. Four more. Try not to put too much pressure in the remaining hand. Really working through the waist here. Two more, and lift, curl. Last one time. Good, now take the arm over the head, and they join in the middle. And again, they join in the middle. Breathe. Super, well done, and again. Good, four to go, and again, three, squeeze it up, so good for your waist. Your leg is working, but your waist is working harder. Now hold it here, hold it, squeeze that leg up, breathe, in through the nose, out through the mouth, stay tall, keep lengthening through that leg, and reach the arm up and stretch. Brilliant, well done, bring your legs back in. Super job, well done. We should be lovely and warm now, let's go into a seated position. Sitting nice and tall, this is so good for your posture. Just try and relax your legs, give them a little shake out. Straighten your back, think about an ironing board straight back. Head on top of shoulders, 
shoulders on top of the pelvis. Arms forward. You're going to inhale and take your arms up and your toes up. Exhale, take your arms forward, toes away. Inhale, exhale. Now remember where this movement is coming from. It's coming from your center. So here, breathe in, pelvic floor, zip up, exhale. And again, breathe in, connect, exhale. Good, keep your breastbone soft. Breathe in through the nose. Let's get some lovely movement in your shoulders. Keep your breastbone soft. Reach your fingers high to the ceiling. Last one, toes up, arms up. Stay here, arms out to the side. Remember what happens as soon as you do this, quite often you squinch your shoulders up. So I'd rather you just were a bit more relaxed. So you can maybe bend your knees if you're feeling tight. Try and keep your back upright if you can. You can take your legs like this if it feels easier. So we're gonna sit tall. Palms are facing forward. I just want you to turn. Keep your shoulders down and think about lifting up to the top of the head. Come back to centre. Other side, drop your shoulders down, turn. It doesn't matter at all if you feel that you can't turn very far. It's better just to turn a little bit and to get used to it gradually than to force it and make your shoulders come up. So I just want you to be very gentle in the waist. Now imagine your head is like a corkscrew being lifted up towards the ceiling. Head up, breathe. Relax your shoulders. If your arms are getting tired, just bring them down. You can take them maybe into this cross-up position. So let's go back to the beginning. Breathe in, toes up. Breathe out, toes away. Breathe in, toes up. Breathe out, toes away. Arms out to the side, lift. Drop your shoulders, rotate. Feel the waist working. Stretch your fingertips from side to side. Other side. Good, now come back to centre. Bring your arms forward. Take one hand to your shoulder and then reach it up. Keep your back straight. Other side, one and two, three and four. Now, if you feel that your quads, the front of your thighs, are tensing up, remember, bend your knees and just open your legs wide if you need to, like this, just to take it away from your legs, concentrating more on the upper body. Breathe. Last one. Super, well done. Now, inhale here. We're going to exhale and fold over. Lift up and over, stretch. Stay there, keep stretching. Just do what feels comfortable for you. A couple of little presses forward. Neck is long. We're trying to lengthen out of the small of the back. Good, well done, stay there. Now come back up into that lovely straight back. We're going to start rolling in the other direction. So taking the back into a lovely rounding, only halfway, and then slowly come up and over. So this is quite subtle. Don't go too far too soon. However, if you want to, you can go all the way straight away. We're all at different levels. So if you want to, you can take your spine down bone by bone. But I want you to do this slowly. The slower you go, the better, slow, take your time. Allow the muscles to work, only if you want to, we're going all the way down. And then we peel ourselves really slowly off the mat, bone by bone. The higher you have your arms, the harder you're making it, or the better you're making it. If you want to, just keep going halfway. And you can even bend your knees and just hold onto your backs of your legs. Remember, Pilates is about progression. It's no good going straight into something that's a little bit too challenging. It's better to help yourself get there correctly, using the correct muscles. Sit tall, drop your shoulders. Remember, if you want to more, make it harder, take your arms up. But it's still deep connection here. Good, keep going, breathe in. So it's halfway or all the way. You 
Because when you come up, I want you to come up in symmetry. Nose, spine, all the way over. Let's do one more together. Reach forward. Straight back. And roll. Shoulders down. Legs are heavy. Keep coming, keep coming. Arms overhead. Keep stretching. Remember that our position is up to you. Roll it up, roll it up. This is the last one. Now this time, I'd like you to take your arms up. Let's start from that seated position again. So arms up, so toes are up. Toes away, arms away. Toes up, arms up. Toes away, arms away, arms out to the side. Should be feeling a bit easier now. Drop your shoulders, lift up to the top of the head. Turn. Remember to breathe. So don't worry too much about how you're breathing, as long as you're not holding your breath. Try, if you can, to breathe out on the movement. So you breathe in here, connect and breathe out. Good, well done. Coming back to centre. Hold it there. Take your arms in front of you and to your shoulder and behind. Remember, lovely straight back. Corkscrew, top of the head, lift. And again, top of the head, up to the ceiling, don't sink. You're thinking about making your posture better. Let's do two more, one more on each side. Breathe. Good, and again. Well done, come back to centre, let's go into our roll down. Arms here, or behind your legs. Legs bent if you want to, or here. Roll yourself down, bone by bone. Lovely, well done. Breathe in. Roll up. Feel how effectively you're working your tummy here. Lifting up with your tummy. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Go all the way over your toes this time. Stretch. Peel yourself back up. Now, take your arms up to the ceiling. We are scooping halfway down. Straight legs if you can. We go. One, and up, and such a good exercise. Again, really targeting the abdominals. Try and keep your legs heavy on the floor. If you want to make this easier, legs are bent, and you don't go down as far. And you gradually, just week by week, session by session, just get a little bit lower. So if you can, you can go all the way down to the floor. And again, breathe in. Breathe out. Are you with me? Good, keep going. Breathe in. And again, lift. Excellent, well done, lovely. Let's do two more. Remember, it's up to you to rest whenever you want to. Last one. Excellent. Well done. Lift up. Here comes our slowest roll down. All the way. Slow. As slow as you can make it. Slower. Put the brakes on. Put the brakes on. And stretch when you get over down. Stay there. Stretch your arms over your head. Legs nice and straight. Now, take your arms by your sides. What I'd like you to be able to do now is to close your eyes. If you can, just listen to the words. So, take your arms by your sides. Now bend your knees and put your feet on the mat. Legs are bent and they're not too far away from your bottom. Your knees should be hip distance apart and your back should be neutral so you're not tilting. Have a little check. Hold on to your pelvis, check that you're not tilting one way or the other. Shoulders are relaxed by your sides, by your arms, your fingertips are walking towards your heels, keep them there. Your chin should be speeding towards your chest slightly. Now we're going to start to lift one leg, keeping it bent, keeping it in exactly the same position as it is now. Just lift your right leg off the mat so your knee comes above your pelvis and 
and your ankle is in line with your knee. Now place it down exactly as it is. Change legs. Knee is above the hip. Ankle is in line with the knee. Use your tummy to pop it down. Now you know what you're doing. Just continue lifting, but with a little bit more sense of lifting with your tummy rather than lifting with your leg muscles. So I'd like you to try and keep your head in line with your spine. It's really important that we stay aligned. When you're putting your feet back on the floor, try and put them down really lightly, as if you were leaving a little layer of air beneath your feet above the mat. Now, lift this leg and leave it. Lift the second leg. Don't let the back arch or the tummy pop out. Take one leg down and then the other. Lift the leg that you've just now placed down. Now lift the other. Put the first leg down, then the second. The second leg, lift it up again as soon as it goes down. So continue with this, lifting one leg and then the other. Try and imagine I am watching you. I want you to keep your back from moving. Keep everything nice and still. Don't let your tummy pop out when you lift that second leg. Remember, listen to your body and if it feels too much, just stay with lifting one leg at a time and then placing that leg down before you lift the second leg. Pelvic floor switched on. Shoulders are relaxed. Try not to rush. This is your last one. Now, I'd like you to keep your body nice and stable and bring your head and shoulders up. Well done, stay there. Reach your arms away and keep the right angle behind the knee and just tap your toes on the floor. Toe taps. Now, keep stretching your fingertips away. Arms are lovely and straight. You're looking between your legs now. Breathe. Now, is your pelvic floor on? Are you breathing? Eight more and eight. Try to make the movement come from your deep abdominals. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. That's probably eight. Hold your legs up here, straighten, one away. Keep the other leg bent. Keep looking between the legs, but don't pull on the head. Use your tummy to lift yourself up a tiny bit if you can. We're gonna do four more at this pace. Breathe, super, well done. And again, don't hold your breath. Lovely straight leg. Deep breathing. Keep your chin to your chest. Excellent, well done. Now, let's make it faster. One, and two, and one, and two, and again, four more, one, and stretch. See if you can make your legs a little bit straighter. Now we're going to go one, then take the leg up, then bend. Straight, take the leg straight up, and then bend. Straight leg all the way up to the ceiling, then bend. Straight leg up to the ceiling, then bend. Breathe. If you need to, put your head down for a second. Try and stay strong in your abdominals. Good, and again, stretch up to the ceiling. Last two, up to the ceiling. Last one. Bend the knees and give yourselves a hug. Well done, lovely. Take your head down. Just walk your head from side to side a couple of times. Take some lovely deep breaths. We are ready to start our abdominal series. So we're going to do five abdominal exercises, really effective, challenging exercises. And we're going to practice each one and then put them all together. So the first one is our single leg stretch. They're all classic Pilates exercises. Head and shoulders up. Hold on to one leg. Straight leg. We've done this before. 
Just keep your head still and swap the legs over. Options, legs up to the ceiling to make it easier. And then you just gradually bring them lower. I would rather your head and shoulders were up. However, if you want to, you can keep them down, but make sure you don't lose your head like this, so you're shortening your neck. Bring your chin to your chest so you can always see the knee that comes in. Let's do eight to practice. Eight, seven, six. Now again, if you want to make this harder, take away your arms here. Four, three, two, one, and rest. That is your first exercise in this series. So the second exercise, we're going to go into crisscross. Hands on your temples, your legs are doing the same thing. Upper body works from the waist. So keep your elbows back, elbow towards me. Doesn't have to touch at all. The rotation is in the waist. So don't pull on your head. Really feel the work in the waist. Remember to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. If you would like an easier exercise, feet on the floor, just bring one leg in like this for crisscross. So this is your crisscross easier option. Remember, it's building up to strength and the confidence. So I'm going to go back to that crisscross for eight more to practice. Eight, seven, not too fast. Straighten the other leg out. Breathe. Four more. Four, three. Lovely rotation. Two, last one. Super, well done. Bring the legs in. You should be able to feel that your abdominals are now working. Head and shoulders up. Let's go into a double leg stretch. So, so far we've got single leg stretch and crisscross. Here's your classic double. Arms come up, legs go away. Take the arms out to the side and bring yourself into a ball. Arms go up, legs go away. So I think of this as a ball, a pencil. And a ball, tight, and a pencil. Remember all your options are there. Straight legs up to the ceiling to make it easier. Or you can just take one leg away to make it easier. If you want to make it even easier, you could keep your head down, chin to chest. Breathe. This is your third exercise of five. So let's do four at your level. Ready? Choose your level and breathe. Keep the pelvic floor switched on. Ball, pencil. Ball, pencil. One more time. And rest. Super. Well done. Pop your feet flat to the floor. Let's just have a little rock from side to side. Now we're going to go into scissors. We take our legs up to the ceiling. Let's just warm them up. Hold your right leg in towards your body. Take your left leg up to the ceiling. Point your toes and stabilise your upper body. Take the leg to the floor, pointing, and then flex it on the way up. Point on the way down, flex on the way up. Again, point on the way down, flex. Still thinking about pencil here. Imagine you're drawing a line and then you're rubbing it out. Last one. Right down. Good, now push your bottom into the floor, flex the foot, hold that leg in, change legs. Hold this leg in and Point, pencil, flex, rub it out. Point, pencil, line, flex, exaggerate the flex. Breathe. Good, and again, it's lovely to just get that lovely stretch in the backs of the legs. Try and keep the rest of your body still. Only two to go. This is the last one, now hold it up. Flex the foot, push your bottom into the floor. Now bend that knee in. Now take both legs up. Here we go with scissors. Hold on, one hand behind your calf, one behind your thigh. Take one leg to the floor. Now swap them over. Swap, swap, breathe. Keep pressing the leg in with your hands. Keep breathing, here's your option. If you want to make it easier, toe taps. Keep going with 
each level. Keep going, breathe in, toe taps, just right angles, head down. Let's do eight more at your level. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We've only got one exercise to add on to our series. My very favourite, and it's the teaser. Such a good exercise. Squeeze your legs together, arms overhead. I'm going to show you all three levels. This is the harder level. Come up into a balance, arms up, drop your shoulders, so don't be like this. Once you get into position, hold it, and down. Breathe in. Second level, you don't have to come up as high. Every one of these are effective. It doesn't matter which level you do. And slightly easier, just take one leg up. Your knees are squeezed together, so your thighs are together. And obviously alternate each time. Shall we practice the teaser? Let's do four for a practice. Sit up your pelvic floor, everybody. Front and back and lift. Hold, don't hold your breath. Visualize how you look. Drop your shoulders, tummy muscles in. And release, good, breathe in. Connect, scoop up. Point your toes, drop your shoulders. Stay there. And release, two more to go. Breathe in, choose your level. Breathe out, knees are squeezed together no matter which level you're doing. Arms are straight, and release, last one. Breathe in, connect. Remember to alternate the leg if you're doing one leg. Squeeze and release, well done. Now let's put all of those five together. Ready? So we're gonna do a single leg stretch for eight, crisscross for eight, four double leg stretches, that's that one, and eight, of the scissors, that one. And then we're gonna finish off with two fantastic teasers. So first of all, just float one leg up to tabletop, then the other. Take a deep breath in. Remember to use all the levels. You don't have to do the high level. Ready for a single leg stretch. And eight, seven, three. Remember, arms up if you want to, legs higher if you want to. Four, three, Two, crisscross, and remember, work from the waist, lengthen through the top of the head, stretch the top of the head up to the ceiling. Four, three, two, double leg stretch, your option. Ball, pencil, ball, pencil. Two more, ball, pencil, one leg or two. Take the legs up to the ceiling, and scissors, breathe, straight legs, straight legs, stabilize your upper body, and four, three, two, one, prepare for your two wonderful teasers, connection, and lift, breathe, hold, deep breath, stay strong, feel the tummy working, and release, one more time, breathe in through the nose, Connect, out through the mouth, and lift, hold, straight legs, hold it there, and really super, well done. That was just your practice round, we've got the real one coming up now. Just before you go, let's just rock our heads from side to side. We're going to do some lovely mobilising after this last set. Pop your legs up to tabletop. Try for perfection, be precise, work out which levels you're going to use before you go into them. Head and shoulders up, so you don't miss anything. Ready? Single leg stretch, and arms up if you want to, legs go higher if you want to. Four more, four, three, two, crisscross, and open up your chest, open up the chest, elbow towards the knee. Good, keep those arms apart, four, Three, two, double leg stretch, one leg or two, and pencil, ball, make them really good, pencil, ball, two more, one more time, 
Prepare for the scissors. Straight legs or bent legs. Head up if you can. And length, length, length. Keep going. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. And finishing off with those two perfect teasers. Breathe in and lift. Show me. Hold. Navel to spine. Belt around the waist. And release. One leg or two, high or low. Breathe in. Connect. Hold. Hold it there, everybody. Stay strong. Can you take your arms up past your ears? Stay there. And relax. Super job. Well done. Just rock yourself gently from side to side. Woo. Pop your feet flat to the floor. We're going to keep our heels quite close to our bottom. And I'd like you to peel yourself off the mat into a shoulder bridge here. So think about the length of the spine and use the pelvis to tilt under, keep pushing, and then come up, bone by bone by bone, all the way up onto your shoulders. Your knees should be in line with your shoulders. Now you must make sure you engage your bottom and your legs, not just your tummy, all of it. This is all your core. Make sure your feet are flat on the floor and your bridge doesn't collapse. You mustn't let it collapse. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. Arms go up over the head. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And again, lovely stretch up. Keep your breastbone soft. Four more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Three to go. Good. Keep the pelvis high. Last two. One more time. Hold it up if you can. Take your arms back down to the floor if you prefer. We're going to take giant steps. Keeping your leg bent. Now it's a real challenge to keep your bridge from collapsing. You mustn't let your bottom drop. So you need to think about what you're doing, but also think about what you're leaving behind. You need to stabilize. And again. Now let's take this leg and straighten it, straighten it up. I want you to just get stable with the foot on the floor. The other leg is pointing north. Keep your bottom up in that bridge. Now cycle the leg. Cycle it four times, all the way to the floor. Just brush the floor with your toe. Last one. Now point it north again, point it north and push up for the foot on the floor. Bend your knee in, place it down, don't drop. Change legs. Knee in. Straight north. Get strong and get comfortable. Now brush the floor with your toe as you cycle. And again, remember you're thinking about what you're leaving behind. Not just about the leg movement, but how the back is Staying lovely and still. Now take that leg north again. Push into the floor with the foot. Hold strong. Bend. Pop the foot down. Find the floor. Now everybody lift the hips up a little bit higher. Bring your arms down. Stay up. Now think about your feet being hip distance apart. You mustn't let your knees on the journey down float in or out. All the energy is in the spine. Now, keep your lift. Take a breath in through your nose. As you slowly breathe out through your mouth, start to find the mat with your spine. But don't let your bottom come down first. Tilt the pelvis under so that you're getting more movement in your back. Into the middle back, more pelvic tilt, into the lower back, right down into the lumbar, onto the sacrum, and relax, stay there, just rock your head from side to side, breathe in through the nose and 
out through the mouth. Ooh, slowly turn your knees round to face forward. We're going to come up and have a lovely stretch in the box position. Hands underneath your shoulders. Now just take your back into a really lovely cat stretch. Tuck your tailbone under. Now like you did before, start to take the base of the spine in the opposite direction. Take your time. Now look forward and lengthen the neck. Shoulders away from the ears, stay there. Breathe in. Drop the shoulders. Now use your connection, bring your chin into the chest. Like chain reaction, every bone reacting to the last. Do it again, breathe in through the nose. Pelvis, take the spine back. Take your time. Look forward and lengthen. Breathe in. Breathe out. Push back up. All the way up into the lovely cat stretch. Stay there. Now come to neutral. Turn round to face me. Take your arms up over your head. Open up your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Breathe in through the nose. Connect your tummy. We are rolling ourselves back down. Roll down bone by bone. Tuck your chin into your chest. Let your arms float up behind you and reach them back. Push them back. Stay there and just feel that gorgeous stretch. Keep your hands back and make a tight fist. Squeeze. Now open. Take a deep breath in and start to roll yourself up, bone by bone. Keep your arms back. Now just start to float your arms up in front of you. Floating up. Reach high. And stretch out to the sides. Do that again. Reach high. Stretch out to the sides. One more. We'll reach up. Reach out. Now come round in the other direction. Up. And down, and again, up, and down. Keep the connection of the tummy. Let's just do one more and make it feel really good for your shoulders. Really slow it down. And bring your hands to your knees. Roll onto the balls of your feet. Stay there, straighten your legs. Start to roll yourself up slowly, don't rush. Reach the arms up to the ceiling. Make yourself tall as you can. Plant your feet firmly into the floor. Take your legs wide. Let's together take three lovely big in-breaths here. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Two more. Breathe in here. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. And relax. Well done, everybody. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you will come again. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.